Kara. I have to hurry and make this video before the judgy people in my family get home. Um, John and the two oldest kids are out sorting cows. They're not that judgy, but they just really don't understand this. So lately I've been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook and whatnot about fur world problems. Like, they're not real problems. <laughs> they're, they're things that, um, how do you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's because you, you live in a, a first world country, I suppose. And these are the weird things that happen to you, like your toddler opens your sunroof on your car and lets the snow in or something like that. Anyway, um, this is my problem lately. As you know me, I thought I'd chime in about this. I am a hoarder, 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 and I like to do a lot of home canning and stuff like that. And one of my biggest fears is that my family will be unprepared and hungry, like this little boy. This little boy. Hello. <laughs> Do you see yourself on that camera? Is that so exciting? <laughs> it's because you're so cute. Anyway, and so I um, keep a lot of food on hand. I have an entire room in the basement that is devoted to storage. And it's not it's not completely full. But anyway, so what I decided to do... Here, let's take a little baby with it. Um, every year, I go through and anything that's getting kind of out of... Not out of date, but just kind of old. Anything that I've had for a while, I pull out and I bring up here and I try to make us use it. So now, here's my problem. Like, we have all this stuff, like that, and it's all over the kitchen because I'm trying to keep it out so I'll use it and not waste it because it's still within its expiration dates, but there's a whole bag of, or a whole box of tuna fish and like uh, barbecue sauce and anyway, all this home can stuff that I did. There's jam and green beans and anyway, it's just sitting all over the place. There's some pasta. And you can see my messy kitchen too, so that's exciting. Anyway, so that's one of those. Um, so we got to get that used up. Also, look what baby did to my computer. I'll run over here. He made it on giant screen. <laughs> I don't really know how to fix that, but I'll figure it out. I gotta hurry because I had to get my newspaper submission done. Um, oh, also, look what Johnny gave me for Valentine's Day. It's so pretty. I was afraid I was gonna kill it, but then I thought, you know what? I have plants that are old, like this tree right here with a basket in it. I don't know why there's a basket in the tree. It's 17 years old. And that little tree over there had that for a year and a half. So anyway, those are our problems. <laughs> You're so silly. What else do you want to say? Was there anything else you want to tell everybody? I... Oh, oh, I know what I want to say here. So maybe... Here, let me see if I can vlog my shirt. I'm going to give a shout out to Radney Foster. Drunk on Love. It's my t-shirt. I bought that years ago. She was brand new and she's five, almost six. So I've had this t-shirt for a really long time. Anyway, hi Radney Foster. I think you're awesome. Okay, bye.